If you've been following my journey for a while, then you'll know that a couple of weeks ago, I decided that I would get stronger glasses because I was worried that I might be end myopia blur adapted. Not clinical blur adapted, end myopia blur adapted. Anyway, I've got the glasses and today I will tell you how I'm finding them. Hi, I'm Jem and I'm following Jake Steiner's End Myopia Method to get back to 2020 vision and life without glasses. Not right now, right now I have loads of glasses, but not forever. It is all based on science, not magic, and if you want more information I'll pop some links in the description down below. For the longest time now I have been wearing these glasses which are a minus 1.75 in my right eye and a minus 2 in my left eye. I've been plateauing, I have not been improving and it's really been a very frustrating experience. I did buy weaker glasses to try and push it along with a little bit more challenge but I decided maybe that wasn't the right choice and instead what I did was I bought stronger glasses. There we go, that way up. I thought that they would help if my eyes were getting a bit lazy with clearing the blur. If my vision had just stagnated because my eyes didn't care about what clarity looked like anymore. They had forgotten what they were aiming for. Got these, put them on, and let me tell you, there are certain situations in which they are wonderful. Those situations are at dusk, night driving, indoor situations where I'm looking at distant objects, but there is a lot of artificial light from a variety of sources, such as you will find in supermarkets, in big sports halls, or in some big churches as well. These are all places I find myself in quite often, in fact. I've started wearing these to badminton and my game has gotten a lot better. My teammates think that I've just improved suddenly, but I actually think it's because with these, they give me such clarity that I have much better depth perception, so I'm much more likely to actually hit that shuttle. The problem is though, that when I look at things in bright daylight, they are so clear, it is full on intense how far away I can read things that are still clear and I'm thinking they probably shouldn't be that clear. And also when I look at things up close, it feels a bit like I'm being punched in the face this fourth, and I have to move away. So I think this is kind of the experience that you would expect to have with optometrist prescribed glasses where they say, just wear them for a few weeks, you get used to them. Well, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get used to them, but I will keep on using them for badminton and I will use them for night driving. The current glasses I've been using for night driving still have cylinder in them, so I'll be very happy to get rid of those and use these instead. But I certainly won't start wearing them regularly, no. They are too strong. They are in fact very close to what my optometrist prescribed results would be except my left eye in these is a minus 2.25 and the optometrist said I should be wearing minus 2.5, so very close. And my optometrist results also had some cylinder in both eyes and these ones are cylinder free. So it is back to my N 5.5s as they have been called. I am abandoning the N number system because now I have far too many different pairs of glasses, some of them equalize, some of them not, and I have them all so I can try and work out which ones I should be using. I just don't know. So it's very hard to put them in order now as I have been so far. Now I just have the numbers written plainly on the arms instead of having them written as an N for normalized or a D for differentials that I then have to consult <laughs> what they actually are as a correction. Anyway, so I'm back to these, which I have been wearing for, I don't recall exactly, but it's probably been these more or less for the last seven months with a couple of blips here and there as I've tried other things. I definitely don't see things as crisply in these as I do in these, but on the other hand, that was a bit too crisp. A few weeks ago, before I got those stronger glasses, I got these weaker ones, which are a quarter of a step below these, just as the stronger ones are a quarter of a step above these. So these ones here are minus 1.5 in my right eye and minus 1.75 in my left eye. I am using these ones as a peak correction. I'll take these off now, thank you so much. So when it's a very sunny day, when I've had enough sleep, when I definitely don't have any ciliary spasm and my vision's good, these were for giving me 
a bit of a challenge in those moments. When I started to wonder if maybe my progress was a blur adaption thing, I retired these, I put them, well, retired for the time being, put them back into their case and hid them in the back of my cupboard so I wasn't being tempted to change too many different pairs of glasses throughout the course of a day, a week, you know. But now that I have determined that these are extra especially strong, I am actually going to bring these back out of the cupboard. Now they do give me a bit of a challenge and I'm actually thinking this might be a good thing because yes, my N5.5s that I've been wearing, it's not crisp, it could be better, but it's probably good enough. My eyes say, fine, that'll do. Whereas with these, my eyes do not say fine, that'll do. They say, ooh, that's a bit blurry. And maybe that's what I need. So I'm wearing these a bit more and kind of having these to put on when I get a tired of clearing the blur, when my eyes get tired of the work they have to do in these. So I'm hoping that maybe this is what I need now. It's so hard to know for sure. And I have to be really on top of my habits to make sure I'm not sabotaging myself or undermining my progress. I think I'm doing well. And that weird thing I did with my phone last week, really helping actually, because even if I don't use the pokey stick thing, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link to the video above. The length of the selfie stick part means that it's always kept a certain length away from my face. I'm not accidentally getting too close. That's where I'm up to feeling wildly optimistic optimistic once again. It's a bit of a journey, isn't it? And that's half the fun. Thanks so much for following along and seeing where this leads. Um, yes. Please do remember to like, comment and subscribe. It means a lot to me and it's just a little click, a little click from your end and it makes me so happy. Thank you and I will see you again next Thursday. Bye. Yeah, I normally don't drink coffee. I did have a coffee this afternoon. Can you tell? Can, can you? Oh, you can, can you? Right.